Marcus, congratulations on winning the title today. It was you. You made a final at the start of uh, March uh, over in uh, Thailand. First title of the year on the singles court, hitting some pretty good form. Yeah, no, I've, I've played really well as well. Court form, I was, I was playing well in Thailand, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's a tough list. You, know, you play a lot of good players, and uh, just found the knack of winning um, in the third week. And obviously, yeah, made final. Had a week off, came here, and uh, played very well. Did that week off make a difference? Because you played a lot of tennis. You and Lewis on the doubles court, I think, have made final in every week that you've played in so far this year. Yeah, Did that, was that week sort of well, um, well, helped? Did it help? Definitely. We could have gone straight into, um, I think, what was the week before here? Preston. Preston. We could have gone straight in there, but wanted to um, get on the indoors and practice a little bit and have a few days just relaxing and taking your mind off tennis a bit, because that's important as well. Um, but yeah, that was very important. And hit some balls on the indoor, keeping outdoor ever since November mm. really so but yeah and you well. you seem pretty unfazed out there because I mean there was a few times that uh, Sam looked like he might get ahead you got ahead early on in the, at the start of the match he came back and um, particularly on that set point in the uh, first set tie break where you picked up absolutely sublime half volley and nudged it across cross court to win the tie break was that something that you know in, in your mind you, you are fairly relaxed and fairly sort of comfortable with where you are um, yeah, I mean, Sam's obviously served very, very I, didn't, I hardly saw a second serve all day, so I was just just thinking, well, you know, there's nothing I can do more. I tried my best and, and tried to get my A game out there and played, it, played a couple of bad games. He went a break up in the second, but then I played very, very well to get back in it and win four games in the bounce. But I mean, when you're playing playing on indoor indoor courts, you've got to be calm. You've got to, you've got to hang in there. And it's, it's very serve dominated, so you just got to try and stay calm even when things aren't quite swinging. And what about the atmosphere here? Because there was a good turnout here for the final, very well supported through Sandwell Leisure Trust and Tipton Sports Academy, what have you. That surely makes a difference to the uh, to your play. Yeah, it was, it was mad. Um, yesterday, obviously, it was just a normal day, semi-finals. And today, I came in and there's a couple of hundred seats and, and speakers on the court, and it, it makes it feel like you know really, really, really good. And that's what we play tennis for to to get to these finals and semis and. And it's lovely to play in front of people. It's a bit more nervy, but it's just it's what it's what I want to do. I want to play in front of bigger and bigger crowds and, and play better tennis, which, which I've been doing. And I think in a slightly ironic way, you know, it's a good thing when you're having to delay play at certain times because there's noise coming from the crowd. Yeah, no, it's a bit like US Open here today. It was uh, that was it was good atmosphere. People were being vocal, and, and that's what that's what I like. I mean, I don't, don't think you get it so much at Wimbledon, but I mean, it, it's. It's good fun and um, takes your mind off things a little bit when you want to. And, uh, it was, uh, the crowd were very good today. It's nice to, that they came out and watched on a Saturday. So. Marcus, what's your plans next? Is it France you're going over to next? Yeah, 28 to go to St. Brigitte Challenger. I uh, don't think my pronunciation was great on that. I won't even try but yeah, we're going to try and play a few challenges now um, for the doubles. doubles for our it would be nice to have a crack and see what it's about. And it wouldn't be right uh, not to have an interview and not to uh, mention A1 Pharmaceuticals and Gary. Oh, so, yeah, Gary. message for Gary? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks, Gary, for resurrecting my tennis career, to be honest. And it uh, would be impossible to do it without you. So, thanks to all the team behind the scenes as well. Thanks a lot. Gary, I can say on behalf of Marcus also that he's, he's had a great week here. He's won the singles and doubles. Hopefully, you are proud of him. All play, Marcus. Thanks a lot.